Everybody just want to welcome you to week 14, module 14 for ME14 Mechanics of Solids. So within this module, we're we'll taking a look at energy methods and working on our group project. So a couple of bookkeeping items within this week. You have your quiz number 14. This is be posted on Blackboard on Monday, and it'll be due on Friday by 4 p.m. You also have your final homework, homework number five. This is going to be assigned on Monday the 3rd and due on the 10th by the end of the day. You also have your group project video presentation. Now, this is going to be due by Thursday the 6th by the end of the day. So, reminder as always, I do have my office hours on Wednesdays from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Now, if you're unable to meet during these times, please send me an email, message, or a chat through Teams, and I'll find a time that works with both of our schedules. So as we wrap up this semester, we're looking at week number 14 now, our module 14. We're dealing with chapter 11 in our textbook, dealing with energy methods. So within this year, we'll go through sections 11.1 through 11.5. You also again have your quiz number 14 and your homework number five as well. So this is going to be our second to last week, then we're followed up by a short week on the 15th. And this is when it's gonna be dedicated to you guys uploading your group project presentation, these videos. And I will be posting these on Blackboard for every other group to look at as well. So looking into our group projects, we've completed three of our four milestones. The first milestone, you guys had formed your teams and submitted your list of team members to Blackboard. Again, these are teams of four to five. Then you went ahead and submitted your group's problem and your solution to your problem. You submitted this through an assignment on Blackboard. Then most recently, you guys completed your third milestone where you submitted your group's solutions to the other group's problems and handed those in through Blackboard. Now your next two steps are going to be due on Thursday, March 6th. This will be turning in your video, your virtual presentation on Blackboard of your group's presentation of your project and going through your solution. And you're also going to be turning it back in the graded solutions to the other group problems as well, so we can redistribute those to the groups and see how they did. So just a refresher of all the different teams. Recall for the semester, there were nine different teams. So we have all the nine teams and all the team members listed here. So again, the last step, each of your groups, each of these teams will be turning in your video presentation, going through your group's solution to your problem. So this is how your grade is gonna break down for your group project. So 25% of your grade is gonna be based upon your solution and your problem that you handed in to me. Then 25% is going to be based upon the grade that the other groups gave you as they graded your assignment to their problem based upon that 10 point grading criteria that we've been seeing all semester. And then the last 50% of your grade for the group project will be based upon your presentations that you'll be turning in as a group uh, on May 6th. So as we get into our module 14, we'll be taking a look at the topic of our energy methods. So within this module, we're going to introduce the concept of strain energy. Now this is going to be the increase in the internal energy associated with the deformation of the member. Now the strain energy is equal to the work done by slowly increasing the load applied to the member. Now we're also going to introduce the elastic strain energy associated with the normal stress for the members under axial loading and in bending. Now, upon completion of this module, you should be able to compute the strain energy due to axial, bending, and torsional loading. We'll discuss all three of those. Determine the effect of impact loading on members. Define the work done by a force or a couple. Then we're going to look at determining the displacements from a single load using the work energy method. Then we're going to apply Castigliano's theorem to determine displacements due to multiple loads, not just a single loads. And last, we're going to solve statically indeterminate problems using Castigliano's theorem. So relating back to our textbook, we're going to break this down into two different sections within our module. The first section of our module is going to deal with chapter 11 uh, in the textbook, sections 1 through 3. And the second part of our module is going to deal with chapter 11, sections 4 through 9 in your textbook. So for module 14, we're going to break this into two different sections, module 14.1 and module 14.2. For our module 14.1, we're looking at our energy methods, in particular looking at our strain energy. Now objectives within this module, as we're talking about our strain energy, we're going to be looking at our strain energy concepts and strain energy density. Then we're going to take a look at our elastic strain energy, breaking it down into our normal stresses and shearing stresses. And our last topic we're going to look at is our strain energy for a general state of stress. Now for activities within our module 14.1, we're looking at the theory for the above topics, talking about our key equations, looking at our practical applications, and then going through my hand solutions to an example problem. 
Now for our module 14.2, still looking at energy methods, but now looking at loading. So within the loading, we're going to look at impact loading, talk about the analysis and design. Then we're going to look at single loads and talk about energy formulation and deflections. And then we're also going to get into some special topics here, dealing with work and energy under multiple loads, Castigliano's theorem, deflections by Castigliano's theorem, and then statically indeterminate structures as well. So activities within this module, again, we're going to go through the theory for the above topics, look at our governing equations, talk about some practical applications, and then go through some problem solving together.